Disney just filed an NFT patent that could be alluding to buying Vivi or starting their own platform or maybe neither one of those options. We're actually gonna be diving in and exploring this patent and what the possibilities of this patent could mean. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we got this tweet pulled up here and we're gonna read through it in just a moment and kind of my thoughts on this. But before we do, let's go ahead and just do the patent lookup real fast that I have pulled up. We're gonna read through it and we have some shocking information, all right? So it's your host here, Kyle Wilson. Welcome to the channel if you're new. We talk about NFTs, ordinals, digital collectibles, and Web3 gaming. So welcome to the channel. I'll get back to all my other content soon enough, but this one was pretty hot news and we had to cover it, all right? So let's dive into it. It says here under the description, um, we'll actually skip that. It just shows you the title of this is enabling deep historical data to use via NFT reminting, which is pretty interesting in itself. The background. Now, this is where it gets really spicy really quickly, and you'll see why in just a moment. It says existing non-fungible token NFT blockchains hold ownership history with within a blockchain transactional database, which records each transaction as it occurs. It has no way of providing comprehensive ownership history for an NFT in response to a single query. As a result, a participant in an NFT marketplace must typically utilize a third-party aggregator like the Blurs, the OpenSea Pros, or whatever to kind of like look through all that data, right? and says that uh, that has monitored and cached the history of an NFT by playing it for the transactions of the blockchain. So again, we kind of know this already. If you go to look at the history on the open sea of an NFT, you'll see the transactional data if you look at the sales and all that good stuff, right? So, and then it goes on to say, this requires external computation and storage by a third party, a trusted third party, rather than a more desirable use of decentralized cash of historical ownership chain in a way that user that a user or service can immediately observe and verify with a single query. So it seems like they are favoring obviously the decentralized cash in this patent kind of calls out a lot of NFT marketplaces as well. So very interesting to see that they do actually put a priority on decentralization here. So again, shout out to the people that enjoy decentralization and kind of like you know, our proponents of that. I'm a big proponent of decentralization and I do appreciate it. There's a lot of advantages to it that, you know, we'll get into later. But um, it says here though, one consequence of the absence of readily available, accessible historical ownership data is that it fails to incentivize NFT transactions. Here's where it gets even spicier. So it says basically calling it out for what it is that it fails to incentivize NFT transactions. That it is to say in an existing, in an existing marketplace for NFT transactions, Actions, NFT market platforms pay a share of NFT sales transactions to the platform itself as a maintenance fee and may pay out a share to the creator as a royalty fee. That's kind of like the big deal in the NFT space as a whole. So all platforms are basically like that in a nutshell, you know, VV, OpenSea, they all kind of do that. And it says here, the seller of the NFT receives the remainder of sales funds and loses ownership of the NFT. The NFT is then removed from the digital wallet belonging to the seller who receives no ongoing value for being an early adopter of the NFT. That is a big issue. That's a crux of the NFT space is like, nobody's out here doing that. Nobody's like rewarding their early adopters you know, if you had an NFT, you sold it, maybe you had to, or maybe you just wanted to collect something else. It doesn't really reward early adopters. So kind of calls the NFT space out as a whole here in this patent. And then it says the state of affairs tends to encourage NFT owners to act as collectors and to display their own NFTs in a gallery in order to showcase their collection, but provides no incentive other than receipt of sale price for transferring ownership of an NFT to another collector. So again, another call out here to the space why, you know, it, it's basically stagnating these sales and doesn't... It, really do much here and that's what it says right there in the patent these are the patents words not mine and it says as a result the existing nft transaction environment tends to result in undesirable undesirably in stagnated nft collections that's where it got really interesting really quick so you know that's basically what it's saying there that you know all of this right now the big problem in the nft space is you know people are collecting for different reasons but there's no really incentive to sell your nft and this is kind of of saying that possibly um, there could be a potential for early adopters that had purchased early on to get rewarded for their for their being an early adopter, right? 
And this tweet right here says something similar. So it kind of goes in, shows you figures and more information we just read through. Uh, but the TLDR is very interesting. Let me go ahead and pull this up and zoom in on it. It says, Disney will reward the first line of owners of an NFT with royalties as a way of incentivizing NFT transactions. Will this affect your way of collecting NFTs from now on? Now, that's an interesting take there. I don't know if I necessarily think this will happen anytime soon or necessarily I agree with that statement. However, I do think that there could be a potential here for that. I think there could be a potential to reward early adopters. I think that's the, what the patent is all about. However, I think that we are in basically, you know, the regulatory environment right now is not very friendly. There's so much uncertainty in the regulatory uh, environment, you know, with Gary Gensler, with naming all these coins and the, some lawsuits, you know, even randomly file coin that does nothing but has decentralized storage as a, as a token. And that's what you use the token for. So, it, you know, it's just very kooky and weird what's going on in terms of regulation. And there's just a lot going on, even, you know, with what's going on, I think with Flow, they have some similar type of case that you know that they're having to work through or not similar but in, in an nft case that they're having to work through but anyways there is so much to be had in terms of you know some uncertainty and legal clarity that i think needs to take place this could be years before this patent actually gets used if you know what i mean so again like if you are rewarding your users with royalty fees or paying your user just for being an early adopter it's kind of like a common enterprise and an expectation of gain so i don't know if Disney is just going to be like open the floodgates of, hey, we're just going to have all these royalties. However, if they have their own environment or their own game, rather like their own experience and some kind of in-game currency that is not tied to you know, any kind of real currency, it's just a gaming token um, that has nothing to do with crypto, I could see maybe that or some rewards, like you get kind of merch. We've, we're seeing that with Cryptoys. Cryptoys has a really cool program. You know, if you land at Ultra, Gra uh, Ultra Grail, you get into the Ultra Grail Club and you kind of get cool little perks like that. I think that is the move. And this is interesting though. This kind of called out a lot of things going on in the NFT space and kind of similarities you can draw with other collectible platforms. Um, obviously it mentioned Showroom and things like that. So I find this very interesting. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, kind of a spicy patent here and to see what happens now this was filed back last year in october and finally got published uh this past month and the status is pending currently so time will tell if this actually gets approved and if disney might not even use something like this possibly for a while but it is all very interesting and i'm curious what y'all think about this is this meaning that disney may actually buy vv is this what it's kind of alluding to like are they setting themselves up in the event that they want to go ahead and buy vv and and incentivize collectors to sell their NFTs or are they going to create their own platform and utilize a tool and a patent like this to have their own proprietary system in place for incentivizing people to buy sell and trade in their own marketplace or could this be just something that they are just filing a patent simply because it's Disney I'm very curious what you guys think so let me know in the comments below and I'll read through those but without further ado that's all I got for this one be like an NFT be authentic and I'll catch you guys later peace